One of the times that I actually do not recommend intermittent fasting is when people are on a GLP-1. And the reason is because we need to ensure that these people are able to get enough calories, micro, macronutrients, and that gets difficult if you cut out one of their meals every day because they tend to eat less at each meal. And one of the ways we can protect people from muscle loss, collagen breakdown, hair loss, when they're on these medications is by ensuring that they get enough food. This is also why I advocate for microdosing. We don't want people so not hungry that they're not eating, right? Um, and so reducing one meal a day every day is enough to leave them nutrient depleted. Depleted. So I do not recommend it in those categories of people, but I do use it as an excellent tool to transition people off of the medication in our program. And about 98% of our people do transition off of GLP-1s. Um, it allows for continued oxidative stress or inflammation reduction, and also either sustained improvement in insulin, uh, uh, leptin, metabolic hormones, or uh, continued improvement of those hormones. So. I hope that helps and offers some clarity.